I tell you what, I've got one of my best friends is here tonight. I've known this fella for 40 something years and I guess, Kenneth, he practically raised me. I, I, I used to get him in more trouble than anything. And I, I hold him up pretty high, I tell you that. He worked for Flat and Scruggs when I did. And he's the one that sung the tenor, him and Jake. I don't know. And I know when I introduce this boy, you're going to know him. My friend Curly Seckler, would you make him welcome? Yeah, you better. We may have to get out of here. After. <laughs> oh, no. What's he running for? Hey, here, Kenny. How you doing? Move here to this, this mine right here. This one, this yeah. tall one? Uh-huh. That ought to get up to a man's side. You know, I, I ain't been in this bed in this too long. I don't know hardly what to do, Josh. Scared to death, ain't Yeah, you? you know, Josh and myself did work with uh, Lester and Earl way back yonder. And, well, let's see, I went to work with them in 49. And they said I wasn't no good, then they hired him. <laughs> they really fixed him. No, <laughs> no, they hired me in, in 49, and I worked with them for a while. And then Josh came in in 55. That's right. And we never did have no good band after that. <laughs> Just a kidding. To me right there is one of the finest gentlemen. Now, I've known him over 40 years. I think I know him. But I still see some odd things here and there. <laughs> He's a wonderful fella. Give him another nice round of applause with Mr. Graham. You see, you know, I, I, got, I got to say this. When I went to Nashville, I was playing an old beat-up guitar, and I ordered one from this old boy, and I didn't have the money to get it out of the, the stores down there. They shipped it COD, you see. You had to pay for it right then. I said, come on, Zach, go with me. And he bought that thing for me. I never will forget that. You don't forget people like that. And, and if I needed money, he'd loan it to me. And I kept him busy at that for a long time. <laughs> but I do appreciate you, Zach. And you know, Kenny, he never did pay me back. That's just what <laughs> I was thinking. Well, what's, what, what's friends for anyway, you know? I mean... <laughs> Oh, my goodness. But that's true. Uh, and speaking of friends, Kenny Baker over there with the, with the fiddle is a fella that I've known, I guess, close to 40 years. And he's did some awful good fiddling on a lot of different numbers. And he can still fiddle, can he? Nice hands for him. <laughs> Kenny Baker. Sure. And these gentlemen back behind me here, I don't know too much to say there, except they're working with some good people. I know it. You know it? Okay. Well, we better I didn't come down to preach. So let's let's do one of the old standards, Josh, that we did years and years ago, and I recorded it years and years ago. One entitled, I'll kick it off here, Moonlight on my cabin. When it's a moonlight on my cabin, I'll be with you. When it's a moonlight the pine trees I'll be there For I know that there's someone that should be there And that's a moonlight on the pine trees I'll be there For the lone trail of the lonesome pine is wide A girl up in the mountains waiting for me with her big brown eyes and wavy long black hair. Let's hear you, boy.
mountain home I am returned Heading up the hillside never more to roll But that's a moonlight on my cabin When that's a moonlight on the country's eye When that's a moonlight on my cabin eye When that's a moonlight on the pine trees I For I know there is someone that should be waiting When that's a moonlight on the pine trees I'll be there You know, 57 years on the road is a long time in bluegrass music. It is anywhere, isn't it? It is anywhere. <laughs> you know, it's my first trip here in Cincinnati to do any singing, I guess, probably 35 years. Yeah. You don't get out much, do you? <clears throat> no, they won't let me out after dark. <laughs> I slipped out tonight. <laughs> no, I was working up this way tomorrow night, and I found out Josh was working up this way, and of course, we've been friends for 40 years, and of course, Kenny, too. And I said, well, I'll just drop in down there and do a few numbers with Josh. Appreciate it. And chat just a little bit. Yes, now, I tell you, 57 years is a long time. Of course, I don't work the road too much anymore. I just go out and pedal here and there and there. I like to go out when I get ready, Josh, and go back when I get ready. That's the way me and Kenny do it. Yeah. Oh, I, by the way, John, I heard that uh, things are opening up around Garth, Mississippi again. <laughs> <laughs> you think I forgot that, did you? You won't let nothing alone, will you? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I got my big break. I pawned everything I had to get home and eat roast nears out of the cornfields. Yes, sir. Oh, I tell you. What's the matter with you, darling? I really don't know. What's the matter with you, darling? Something's wrong with you, I know. Someone must have told you stories. Or else you would not treat me so.
<laughs> Have you forgot that, Josh? Go ahead. I'm glad you did. Have we got time for one more? Yeah, go ahead. This time I'd like to do a gospel number. And uh, we'll put this in about the same key there now. Oh, uh, I always like to do a gospel number on any program that I am connected with. This one or maybe one or two sometimes. One entitled, Lord, I'm a coming home. I wandered far away from God. Now I'm coming home. The path of sin too long I've crossed. Lord, I'm coming.